and super fast. Yeah, it's moving. We were very excited to get on that ship right there. And uh, we can't wait to show you the, the steps that it takes to get there. So uh, stick around and we will uh, we'll show you uh, not only how to, how to board the ship under the new protocols, but also to uh, show you the ship in general. And uh, we hope you enjoy and stick around. Welcome to uh, day two of our trip, day one of uh, boarding uh, Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas. It's going to be a great day. Uh, sunrise is coming up over here, over the ship. You guys got to just check out this. Um, you guys got to just check out this beautiful, beautiful view. This is where we're staying, here in Nassau, Bahamas. Nice little private pool there, got the beach. little marina and the, uh, the inlet here where they bring all the boats and ships in. There she is. Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas. See the ship y'all? Right there. Starting the day. Starting up. Karen's awake now and it's raining. Pouring. Not exactly just raining. Pouring. It's pouring. This is like Houston rain right here. So, but we're determined we're gonna get on the ship. Maybe a little wet, but we're going. We're gonna go. So, pretty, uh, pretty good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah, sleep is good. Looks good. Can't get in Ready? breakfast. Can't get in breakfast. It's yeah. cold. Everybody overran at the, uh, the Hilton. The poor Hilton doesn't know what's about to hit them. Yeah. So, yeah. But we're still here. We're dry. And we're going to get on that ship in five hours. It's almost time for our check-in on the uh, Adventure of the Seas. We're uh, waiting down here in the lobby and we're going to uh, drop off our luggage here because we need to get it all situated before we go upstairs and do the, uh, the uh, COVID test. We had a we had a 12:30 check-in appointment, and um, they had this very well organized, and we were able to just hang out in the lobby, and we actually got in uh, and got called to go upstairs at 12:10 uh, um, to to uh, to get our, our COVID test. So as as you uh, after you're called uh, here at the uh, the the Hilton there in Nassau Bahamas, we uh, went upstairs. And you had a couple different checkpoints that you had to go through uh, to, in order to uh, validate your uh, uh, your reservation, show your booking number, and then you also had to show that you were pre-registered for your uh, COVID uh, test. And again, as you can see, very well organized, not a very big line whatsoever, and uh, we, we processed through rather quickly. So. After the COVID test, uh, you're ushered into a waiting room where you actually get in and check in. They had, this is the first part where it actually felt like a cruise and uh, had some, some uh, steel drums playing. And then here's the check-in desk. This was the best part. You're sent over to the waiting area. They said it could take uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and uh, we were very lucky. We, uh, I think it was pretty close to 15 minutes. Got our va our stickers. We're ready to go. Let's go get on the ship. It's time to party. So from there, we left the hotel, and uh, they had uh, shuttle buses waiting for us. Um, on uh, right outside to the left of the, uh, the entrance there at the Hilton. We uh, were able to walk through, walk out, just get right on the bus 
and uh, took the I don't know five minute drive from the hotel uh, to the ship. After the short drive, we were we were able to walk down the pier, and, and we got to see the adventure of the seas. And it was very exciting. They had a Calic beer set up. Uh, they were giving away free beers and uh, free uh, cowbells for those that wanted it. And of course we had to partake in libations and uh, enjoy the beer. Thank Honey, you. we got free beer. Free beer. Adventure of the Seas. Free Calic beer. You guys gave us beer. Oh yeah, really starting to feel like vacation. All right, then we head uh, over to board, and here's that great sound. <laughs> That's the sound of vacation. Staff was awesome, loved seeing us. They were very happy, very excited. We headed straight up to our room, but on the way there, we couldn't help but notice uh, certain things that we missed. First off, uh, just knowing what day it is in the elevator. After we got out of the elevator, we headed straight to our room, and uh, we actually b took a uh, guarantee cabin this time. First time we've ever done that, and uh, it turned out uh, very well for us. Uh, we got cabins, uh, interior cabin number 7373. Uh, it was locked up and um, ready for us when we got there, and it had this nice little uh, sanitation um, uh, sticker on the door to let us know it was sanitized. Uh, we did do a room tour of that uh, room. If you're interested in what the interior cabin looks like, uh, cabin 7373, uh, take a look at our video here and uh, we have a room tour for you. After we uh, got to our room and uh, got settled in, we went and uh, started exploring some of the ship and uh, actually uh, didn't get too far. We, we met some uh, friends on the flight up from Houston, Steve and Leanne and uh, we ended up meeting them at the Champagne Bar on our uh, tour of the ship and uh, pretty much that's where we stayed until uh, the mustard drill. So Roxanne did a phenomenal job, uh, best margarita on the ship, Karen said. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the rum that they had there and uh, we just had a great time uh, hanging out there right before muster. So after we had a, a couple uh, cocktails. We ended up going back over to guest services. You need to get your uh, show tickets uh, pre-done or uh, pre-reserved. Uh, so we did that, and then from there, uh, we did our muster drill. Is uh, the e-muster? We had to go check at your station. If you're interested in knowing what that is, you're welcome to check out uh, this video here, and uh, you can uh, see what the e-muster looks like. And then we uh, headed off to, to early dining. We had the 5.30 dinner. Um, after the, the dinner, we went to the, the show um, uh, and uh, watched the uh, Broadway show. There was only about 25% capacity seating in there. Um, every other row, um, every uh, two sets of seats were uh, blocked off and then the next two you could sit in and then every other row was blocked off where you couldn't sit. So. Uh, well, we enjoyed the show, and then after that we skedaddled up the stairs up the Lido deck, and uh, we got to see the sail away. Um, we were sitting there talking, uh, we made uh, another friend, um, and we're just talking to some other folks up on the Lido, and uh, then all of a sudden this happened. Super fast. We go now. So uh, now our vacation starts. So awesome. Let's get this party started. We'll talk more later. We've been waiting 15 months to hear that horn. Here we go again. We go now. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> it's happening, folks. We had a, a joyous time. We loved it. And uh, I can't wait. We're so happy to, to be uh, sailing away. Um, after that, we uh, went out to sea 
and uh, we enjoyed the trip. After the sail away, uh, we went and uh, walked the ship a little bit and uh, figured out that after dinner on, on the adventure cruise, the uh, you know, uh, Windjammer is not uh, open for dinner uh, or a late night snack, if you will. And we weren't craving pizza, so we actually got our Johnny Rockets fixed in on the first night. Had a good meal there, ate way too much. They ended up uh, uh, making the wrong burger for me and uh, gave me another one, and it was great. Either way, had a really good time with our, our uh, waiter. He did some origamis with the straw, and uh, we just had a good time. <laughs> Much to a part like this. Hmm? Oh. What do you got? A rose, an arrow, a heart, a seahorse, and a sign. Woohoo! Woohoo! Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Again, hope you enjoy our videos. You See know the more. drill. You know the drill. Thank you. Continue to like. Subscribe, smash the bell. You'll know when we when we uh, post next. We got plenty of, of content we're gonna be doing over the next uh, seven days. So thank you again for everybody's support. And, uh, see ya. See you soon. Go to Johnny Rockets. Oh, I'm hungry. Johnny Rockets to see. It's amazing. You like onion rings? Yeah. Okay. Bye, y'all. Good night.